Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's season 24, and this is the first war of the season. And we're going up against an alliance called Agent Noor. Alright, so, of course, we just came off season, and we've been taking a very relaxed attitude towards war. So, we gotta knock some of the dust off, okay? So... Here's the team that I decided to go in with after scouting out my paths in uh, both Section 1 and Section 2. And this first fight here is going to be against Medusa. Now, I remember when Medusa was a very nasty defender. Um, here are the nodes that we're going to deal with here. You can see that there's a Mystic Ward. So I normally go in here with um black widow clairvoyant this is actually a pretty decent placement for her because one of the things you want to do to make the fight easier is to nullify those furies so she doesn't you know get her living strands or whatever okay but an 80 percent chance to fail still gives you a chance to nullify and black widow clairvoyant has many chances to nullify okay but you can see there she almost got three there all right but look at that no problem whatsoever for Black Widow Clairvoyant. Now, someone else may have had more of a difficult time, but Black Widow Clairvoyant proved to be very, very good as far as a counter goes. Uh, now, I do want to talk about the global nodes. You can see they did not place a defender on my second node there, um, but I do want to talk about the global. Now, they chose Bulwark. There is no more Stubborn. Kabam removed Stubborn. They also removed all of the links, except on uh, Mini Boss Island up there. All right, so that made a great improvement to Alliance War, in my opinion. Uh, you can see they didn't put a, a defender there, so I'm not having to fight a lot in this war here. Uh, but... We're going to fight this Guardian. Now, Guardian can be really difficult, tricky. Um, you really don't want to fire off a lot of specials. Now, the global or defense tactic that they chose was Bulwark. So if the opponent is a metal champion and you do too much damage in one hit, I believe it's 5% of their max health or something like that, they're going to get an indestructible charge, similar to Stubborn. However, unlike Stubborn's uh, indestructible, their indestructible um, will go away. It'll um, get removed when you finish your special. Uh, if I remember correctly, the... Yeah, see, he's got indestructible there, but it doesn't stay. Um, it goes on a cooldown also. So it's definitely better to deal with than uh, the Stubborn node was. And I believe we're going to start seeing more um, of a variety, like Bulwark they chose. Uh, we may see Protect um, a lot more, um, but it's not just Stubborn everywhere you look. So I like that. Um, I believe that Kabam took a look and they saw that stubborn was being used pretty much exclusively all right so boom little finger touch love it and he is down no more guardian okay black widow clairvoyant my first um duped rank three six star currently my top champion beautiful lover um since stubborn is not here anymore uh my nick fury is in alliance quest he was like my best stubborn attacker he was awesome um to deal with stubborn all right so I'm, I'm showing you the nodes again and to remind myself now going in here i wasn't sure and i can't remember how to tell that the real nick fury wasn't out or not okay so i'm looking here and i'm like uh oh the real nick fury isn't out yet so that means I've got a lot more work to do than I thought. And you see that I did a lot of parrying to get the infection up to deal with that um, buffet. 
okay? So I'm just wanting to keep the, you know, uh, infections up so that he does not um, regen. He goes unblockable. I really dislike fighting um, Nick Fury. I really do. Okay. But I'm trying to keep the infections up, as you see here. And what I want to do is push him to a special two. However, instead, I fire off my special, trying to get that counter thing. He's intercepting me like he's an intercept god. I'm just like, are you kidding me? What is going on here? Okay. Um, so I'm just like, am I going to lose? Is this, is this what's going to happen? So... I'm sitting here trying to, you know, here he is unblockable. I shouldn't have pushed him to a special two right here. Okay, since he's an unblockable, I should have just played around and let it go. But I was trying to push him like this to his next phase. Okay, now he's got a special two and he fires it off right away. So right now, I'm just trying to wait this out. The fight would have been much, much easier, of course, if he had already been in this phase, but you know, we, we still want to, you know, let him contact us because he still has buffet, but it's not going to help him a whole lot uh, in this phase. Okay, he's down to his 30%. Now I go in. Like I said, no regen because he's got that infection up. And I really don't want him to fire that special one off when he's in unblockable. So you saw there, I was able to get around that by pushing him over uh the point where he was unblockable and there i got an intercept revenge he was intercepting me like crazy earlier got that intercept in the end as a revenge intercept so he went down and we got the uh bonus there all right so now we're at mini boss island and i always wait here to see where i'm needed what everyone's doing uh sometimes folks want to boost up and um, just clear a couple. They have the best counters, that sort of thing. But I notice here that Black Widow, I mean, uh, Guillotine uh, was just sitting there. And I was told, because I did ask, um, I was told to just go ahead and get her down. Um, I don't believe at this point we felt that we were gonna win this war. Uh, but we just wanted to make sure we got our boss down. And the reason that I didn't just rush in is because I didn't think I had a great counter for her. Okay, remember, she's got Spry. Look at that. One hit, she's already on Digicloak. Come on, you know? Um, so here we go, indestructible. Um, but we're going. And I'm like, all right, well, we should be able to, you know, do some work here. She's annoying at the best of times. All right, so at this point, I want to make sure that I can hit her with a heavy. And she just comes out of it because, of course, the node. And then just wrecks me because that threw off my entire flow. All right, so here we go. I was in damage phase, and you see how much damage I was able to do to her. But you see she's got that limber uh, on this node uh, and that, that spry. So, you know, very nasty node, very nasty combination. There she go with the digicloak again. Um, like I said, just a very annoying fight. All right, so I'm still going here, uh, trying to do as much damage as I can. I know she's going to um, heal, but I didn't expect her to parry me. Um, but she did. That happened. All right, so at this point, I'm just like, all right, what am I supposed to do here? All right, I'm putting some incinerates on her. You'll notice I fired that heavy off. It wasn't supposed to hit her. She just battered me down. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? You know, these kind of fights for me are just not fun. I could have won this fight, um, but it's just annoying. So now, as I said, she just got to get down. Omega Red going against uh, a robot. You see, she went Digicloak, like, boom, you know, real quick. Um, very high chance, apparently. Um, but because she's a robot, my spores aren't going to really stay on her at all you know they won't regen so i managed to get her with a heavy but it doesn't matter there's no spores on her you know and so i'm just like all right that's not gonna work what what do i need to do i just need to just go ahead and 
you know, play as, as best I can here, you know, before the limber kicks in and I'm not able to do it. All right, so she's already got her self repair. So we're good here. Um, she's got me in a corner. So I just had to fire that special two off just to get out of that corner and to put that Digicloak on cooldown so I can push her back so I'm not trapped in the corner. Boom. You know, I was trying to finish her off, maybe hoping that she didn't do the Digicloak. She did. She's got a special. And you see, she's just got a lot of damage. She's just battering me. All right. Now, at this point, I'm like, come on. Let's not do this. She's got 4% health. 4% health. Come on. I said, you know what? Let's just go in. Finished her off. Because she was just waiting until she would catch me one time. And I've had the AI do this. They'll hit you one time. Boom, boom. And then fire their special. No chance for you to stop them at all. So um, we were able to get her down with only one death. Now, I did not take this mojo, but we're about to see who took this mojo. Uh, he sent in this boss fight, uh, Apex Predator, uh, as you can see. Now, he fought this mojo with that hazard shift node still up. This is why a lot of people will leave that node um, empty when they're placing certain bosses. All right, so just notice uh, that he's getting incinerate, he's getting poison. Basically, all of that feeds Ghost. All right, he gets these furious. All right, so it makes this fight really straightforward and it makes it awesome for Ghost. All right, so having that hazard ship up, you see, he just converted all of those poisons uh, into furies. Of course, the AI fired off so that he couldn't. Um, uh, capitalize on that uh, he got hit a little bit um, this didn't work because of course the ball work all right but it's on cooldown but just look at him he's just wrecking wrecking and then finally he fires off the special throw. all right good shot all right so that was a, a pretty good fight but that's why that hazard shift um, a lot of times we want to fight the boss if you have ghost with hazard shift up makes it so much easier all right so that's gonna do it guys um this is all for our attack we'll be back after a short break and you'll find out how we did in this first war of the season and we're back and unfortunately we lost this war First war of the season and we started off with a loss but hopefully we will turn that around and we'll get back into the groove of things with stubborn gone um it did change a little bit of the dynamic but hopefully we will uh start winning our wars we did get all three of the bosses down uh which is important uh we always want to get the bosses down no matter what even if we go up against a very very strong opponent and we don't believe that we can win, we'll do a boss rush and get the boss down. We got to get those points, all right? But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching this video. Feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.